So online it looked like we had a good hour or so and we turned up with 20 minutes to board. First time I've ever gone through this actually. So um, yeah, we can't not eat because we're in a feeding window and we eat this morning, we're starving. So we've got coffees and, and some food on the go and then we're gonna have to run to the plane. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a final We're going to have particularly healthy options. Like green, eggs, avocados, and How about that? So, we think we're running late, we've got them to check in. We come through, we grab some food, grab a coffee, walk to the gate, boarding. Smooth. Again. Mm -hmm. Use one of these before? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 You go. I've already heard it a million times. So if the sit belt sign's on, you obviously know to put the other sit belt on. Don't give me a life jacket. Just give me a parachute. How am I going to do? Float my way down. Yes. <laughs>
officially plug back in. Happy New Year. Iris, a great app to download to help reduce the blue light emitted from your screens. Once again, blue light video in the description below. So travel for the last two weeks, stay in a tent, kick along the east coast, come back and uh, the power goes out in the whole building. <laughs> Lucky I live on the eighth floor, eh? Right. Let's get back to some real training. So it appears half of Darwin's out. <laughs> so roll the door up, and there's always a reason why not to, but there's always a reason why. So it appears if you want to film your first workout back after traveling, make sure you charge the camera. So the reason I did all these vlogs was just to give people a bit of an insight onto um, how we do things and that it is possible to keep training and to choose the healthy choice even when things aren't an ideal situation, such as when you're on holiday. Um, the only reason I spurred on to do it was because of the amount of people that say, oh, well, you know, I've got the Christmas break or after the break, then I'll get back into it and all these different reasons to not start now. There'll always be a reason not to start now. There'll never be a perfect scenario. When you wait for the perfect scenario, it will never come. It might do, but what if it doesn't? The way I see it is you're on a path that you have no choice about but you have two paths. One path is towards ill health and maybe possible disease. And other path is towards vitality and longevity. Now, they're two extremes and you have the ability to steer left or right. Some people steer far left, some steer far right. Some people keep bouncing between the two, but the steering's all up to you. Um, I choose to steer right and keep steering that way as far as I can. And I'm always learning still, I'm always adapting, and um, I would always choose that way. So 2018, it's a great way of sort of reflecting on what you've done so far, but also where you're going. Um, which way are you steering? This year I got some big goals, and um, that news that I wanted to say, um, if you're in Darwin, you obviously know of Old Fitness on Stuart Highway, which is my gym. Um, we now are going to be expanding to the city and by expanding I mean getting a whole lot bigger. We're going to have everything from hit circuits to weights training to calisthenics. I'll do everything from beginners groups all the way to more advanced. We've got some uh, great things lined up and some great coaches so if you're in Darwin hit me up now because when we move um, I'm expecting a big influx of people. So I've got an exciting year and have decided to um, carry on with these vlogs. So um, I might well just vlog setting up another gym. It's a little bit different, I don't think I've ever said anything like that. On running a business with two crazy kids and being the sole provider for a household at the same time as choosing health and training. Um, I find that many people are busy being busy rather than busy being productive. Um, I uh, spent a lot of time last year going to seminars. Um, if anyone's heard of Tony Robbins, then um, I've been to a few of his seminars now. Going, actually booked on for one this year. There's some amazing tools you can learn from him of how to manage your time and your mind. So there's things that um, I feel I can still give value, as in morning routines and kind of meditation that I do on a regular basis that really helps put your mind in a positive mindset especially when everyone's trying to latch onto you. So if you did have watched all of these, thank you and um, keep tuned because um, there's a lot more to come. If this has spurred you on, please message me um, and let me know. It's nice to know that someone's watching this. All I am doing it for is literally to try and help as many people as I can. 
Um, I've got a YouTube channel with small snippets of things that might help people. And this is the first time I've done vlogs, so if this has helped you, let me know. Wherever you are, wish you nothing but the best for 2018. If you're from Darwin, pop in, come say hello. If you're in Darwin and you want to take training to the next level, how about you pop in and uh, join, join the tribe? It's been a pretty amazing holiday. Um, take care. What are you doing while everyone else is sleeping? You are where you are today, directly because of the choices that you've made. If you want a different result, take a different action. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure makes you stronger. Failure gives you knowledge. Failure gives you drive. You only truly fail when you refuse to get back up. Succumbing to failure creates fear, and fear stops you going for your dreams. Stand up, stand proud. Life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. Don't make excuses, make goals. Don't let anyone tell you you can't achieve your dreams. You don't need them to believe in your dreams, they're yours. Take control of your life, stare fear in the eyes, and say, it's not over till I win.